the, the Walk in Silence shows to the province, to those who are suffering in an unhealthy relationship, that there are people out there who care about them. They are not alone and that they need to understand that, you know, we're here to help if we can and we hope that maybe this might give them a reason to reach out and ask for some help. I think it's a great uh, event to raise awareness uh, and really that's uh, what the walk is about. Uh, is to show people that, uh, first of all, that there is support out there. Uh, people do want to be helpful, uh, but also at the same time to make sure that people realize that this is something that does happen in our province, does happen in our own backyard. So it's really about those two things, uh, making sure that uh, we deliver a message uh, to families out there uh, that there is support, uh, but also bringing awareness to the issue as well. If people are dealing with difficult or unhealthy relationships, it often comes across, even if they're not disclosing that fact, it may come across in body language, it may come across just in the way they interact with other people. It may be just a feeling that things are not quite right. We want people to be able to say, if you ever want to talk about things, I'm here to listen to you. Those of us that may have a coworker, a family member, maybe even a neighbor that is suffering in silence, um, we need to recognize the signs and we need to be able to reach out and we want those who are in an unhealthy relationship to know they can reach out to us too. We can have loving, caring families and uh, where family violence uh, does not exist and really that's what our goal is. It's about uh, prevention uh, but it's also about helping people out there that, that need help. Uh, I think that's why this theme is so important is providing role models uh, so that young people realize that uh, healthy relationships are important uh, and that they do work.